In this lesson, we'll show you how to add a beam system to your project. Specifically, for this example, we'll add it to the top portion of this project. To start, go to the Level 1 Structural Plan from the Project Browser. We'll place our beam system between grids A1 and B2. To do this, go to the Structure tab, and from under the Structure panel, select the Beam System icon. Now we'll select which beam type we want to use in the system from the Properties window. We'll go with a smaller wide flange, which in this case is called W8x10. Now, from the Beam System panel, we'll click the icon that says Sketch Beam System. To draw our beam system, we'll select the Rectangular Drawing tool. Now, from the intersection of the grid lines, at A1. We'll left click, and then we'll move our cursor down to the intersection at B2, and we'll left click again. This will create the basic outline of what our beam system will be. Note that when you're drawing beam systems in Revit, you can always choose the beam direction. Suppose we want our beams to run left to right, parallel with grids A and B. Well, we'll click on Beam Direction under the Draw panel. We'll click on the beam that runs along grid line A, and then click the green checkbox. Our beams will now be placed parallel to the grid lines A and B, and equidistant from each other. If you want to change the distances between the grid lines, that's easy. All you have to do is first select the beam system. Now to do that, zoom in on your project where you drew the beam system, and left click when you see it highlighted. It should be an even line. Once you've clicked on it, go to the properties window, and under layout rule, you can choose the placement of the beams by a number of parameters, but we're going to keep with fixed distance and change it to three feet. You have a variety of options for how you want to lay out your beam system. For instance, under Layout Rule, if you choose Fixed Number, you can select the number of beams total that you want to be a part of your system. So for instance, if we choose 8 for the number of lines, we'll create a system of 8 beams evenly spaced. Note that they're all the 8x10 beams that we initially selected.